key. We saw Tua back at practice. You seem kind of laughing and joking, moving around. You have some reservations about him playing this soon. And, and just right before that, we heard Tua even saying how he doesn't remember anything from the night of the big hit. Absolutely. When, when you've been in this game and you've played and you've been around other teammates that have had concussion issues, yeah. I played with Wayne Corbett, a guy famously known yeah. to have concussion issues. It takes is a little simple thump here, a thump there. We know this. So when I look at it, I'm like, why are they really trying to put him on the field right now, even though he was medically cleared? Medically cleared. All it takes is, you know, this RPO. He pulls it out. He decides he's going to run it, or some backside thing comes, or yeah. he gets hit. That's all I'm saying. He, he also all mentioned the interviews with the NFL and the NFLPA that were extensive. There have been a lot of people involved in getting him cleared. Yeah, Go I ahead. mean, my natural reaction, Keyshawn, is like, well, he's been cleared by the doctors, but I, I, I agree. Like, I, part of me, since the incident has happened, has kind of peeled back that yeah. thought process a little bit. I just wanted to touch on something quickly, because when I was watching Tua talk, he did not look happy. You know, like Tua always looks like a kid that's full of joy and smiling. Mm -hmm. That's why Marcel's report and Marcel does such a great job. I felt was really important because when I watched Tua, he looked like almost depressed and like worn out. Even I think he's been frustrated, through it, yeah. right? And frustrated. And I thought it was really important to hear Marcel say he looked like himself. He was smiling. That, that was really important because Tua is that kind of kid that kind of puts off that. Type of aura. Right. We saw the video of it. I mean, at least in the video that we showed, he looked like he was a little yeah. bit more the personality that we're used to. Yeah. All right, so we're assuming he plays, right? He's planning to play. What does the Dolphins' offense look like with him back? Dan? It's been lacking the ability to make the big play downfield ever since he's been out. And that was, it's funny because that was the knock on to it. You can't throw the ball downfield. And ever since he's taken over with the addition of Tyreek and Jalen, they've been really good throwing the football downfield. This stat is great. You know, everyone said he couldn't do it 10 yards downfield. Look at the fall off QBR-wise, completion percentage, yards per attempt. And we're talking about plays that aren't necessarily only Tua dropping back and throwing the ball downfield. Mm -hmm. We've seen that. It's also, a key knows this as well, is some of their RPO game, but also the ball placement takes that 7-yard throw and makes it a 15-yard throw because those guys can catch and run. So if he looks like the Tua that we saw the first three weeks, that's a huge jump for their offense. Regardless of if it's two weeks being out and you're going through concussion protocol, there are things you can see by not being active. Sure. Right? And I've heard, I've talked to Absolutely. players a lot. There are things you learn, you get better. If you're really intentional about it, when you have to watch your football yeah. team play, operation standpoint, Tua's strongest suit since he was at Alabama was his accuracy. And accuracy is at a premium for this football team because of run after catch. Right. And that is why this offense is being able to be ran like that. I believe Tua is a, up, a, a level up of quarterback and then Jimmy Garoppolo with the same type of things that Jimmy Garoppolo mm. has been offered. Mm. You know, T also makes his return against the Steelers defense that has allowed 278 passing yards per game. That's third most in the NFL. Ooh, yeah. So welcome back to it. Good last week against Tampa, though. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.